In this video, we're going to walk through how to change the RAID settings on your CalDigit T3 in Mac OS X. In the second part of this video, I will show you how to configure the T3 into a RAID and JBOD hybrid, where you will have two drives set to a RAID and the third as a standalone JBOD drive. When you first purchase the T3, it will come pre-configured into a RAID 0. So for this video, we are going from a RAID 0 to a RAID 1. However, if you want to go from a RAID 1 to a RAID 0, the process is exactly the same, and I will show you how to select the striped RAID option later in the video. The first thing to do before changing your RAID settings is back up all your files from the T3, as changing the RAID settings will wipe all your data from the T3. Only proceed with this if you have backed up your data onto another drive. The first thing to do is go to Disk Utility. If it's not in your dock, you can find it in the Finder, Applications, Utilities, Disk Utility. Then go ahead and open the application. On the left hand side you will see the CalDigit T3 listed. Click on the drive and then you want to click on the RAID tab at the top of the screen. The next step will delete all data on the drive. Make sure you have backed up all your files onto another drive before proceeding with the next step. If you've backed up and are happy to proceed, press the delete button. Then press delete a second time on the pop-up window. This will delete the RAID information. The T3 we are using has three SSDs installed. The next step is to select the first of the three drives on the left hand column. After you have selected it, you want to click on the RAID tab at the top. Then drag the first drive into the empty box in the middle of the window. Then find the second drive and drag that below the first drive, and repeat the process for the third drive. Now you need to name the drive. I'll call it CalDigit T3. Because we are configuring the T3 into a RAID 1, we need to make sure under RAID type that we select Mirrored RAID Set. If you was going from a RAID 1 to a RAID 0, you would just select Striped RAID Set. The final stage is to select Create and then confirm it on the pop-up window. And now Disk Utility will start to create the new configuration. As you can see, the new RAID is ready to go. In this part of the video, we will be showing you how to configure the T3 into a RAID and JBOD hybrid. This means that we will be raiding the top two drives and keeping the third drive as a separate JBOD drive. The first thing to do is open Disk Utility. If you don't have it in your dock, you can find it in the Finder, Applications, Utilities, Disk Utility. Open the application. The first thing to do before changing your RAID settings is back up all your files from the T3 as changing the RAID settings will wipe all the data inside the T3. Only proceed with the next step if you have backed up all your data onto another drive. Click on the CalDigit T3 on the left hand side and then click on the RAID tab. Click on the delete button and then confirm the delete on the pop-up window. After the RAID is deleted, click on the first of the three drives in the T3 on the left column. Then click the RAID tab. Then drag the first of the two drives into the middle box. Then drag the second drive into the middle box. Then name the drive. Under RAID type, click your desired RAID configuration. Then click Create and confirm it on the pop-up window. The RAID for the top two drives is set. Now all we need to do is partition the third drive into a JBOD. Find the third drive in the T3 on the left hand column. It will be the one that does not have a RAID slice. Then click on the partition tab at the top. Under partition layout, click one partition. Name the drive. I will call it JBOD. Click the options button and choose Apple partition map and click OK. Then press Apply, followed by the Partition button on the pop-up. The JBOD drive is now partitioned and ready to go.